Hey, hey, wait just one second. Marvin McQueen the second here. I want to let you know before you get started, you're about to be blessed. You're about to be empowered. But I need you to do me a favor. Inside the description of this video is a link for ebooks. I want you to go to the Creating Change ebook store. And also, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Real easy. Click subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can be notified anytime a video is added to this channel. I appreciate you and I appreciate your support. Hey, thank you. Have a good one. Now go ahead. Keep going. Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Marvin coming to you with another segment of our theme and series this week, Elements of Daily Time with God. We're trying to build ourselves up of those things that we should always take to God every single day while we're praying to him. I want us to go over to Psalm 118, verse number 17. Psalm 118, verse number 17. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. It says, I won't die. No, I will live and declare what the Lord has done. Today, I want to encourage you with the word declaration. That is the word that we're looking at. That's the element that we need, declaration. This is what I want to call the final uh, phase of your quiet time. This is where you can take all that you've learned and you've heard from God and declare what is true. Because I'm telling you, while you're praying to God, the enemy constantly prowls around in our lives looking for ways to distract us and to even encourage us. Truth from God is the ultimate weapon against these subtle attacks, of course. And I believe if we begin to live out what we verbally declare, I don't mean that, you know, any kind of mystical sense like that, but rather we believe and that when I affirm a truth in my mind and I say it out of my mouth, that my life begins to lean in that direction. So we have to declare things out loud. And before you get off of your knees, before you say amen, or even when you say amen, go ahead and declare some things. Go ahead and just declare that I'm a child of the king. Go ahead and declare that he gives me his promises of his uh, presence, his protection. He promised me provision and his power. Go ahead and declare that God's got this all under control. Go ahead and declare that I reject passivity and lean with bold confidence. Go ahead and declare that I'm ready for the fight. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Nothing can stop me because God is with me. If you practice this, if you push this with your mind and put it in your heart, you can declare some things that be not yet and though they will come to pass. So I want you to put this a part of your elements of daily time with God. Make a declaration and watch how God lines things up to react on your behalf. Be blessed. 